Oh, do I have to be serious and talk about mm. art? <laughs> you don't have to be serious and talk about art. Great. Okay. Let's talk about sardines. Okay. This is Eleanor Bauer, everyone. That's, that's true. Okay. Wait, we're is gonna, this real? Yeah, we're this gonna is talk the about, intro. We're gonna talk is this about, how you're gonna intro this it? This is how we're gonna do it. That's gonna be in. That's gonna be in. Oh that's how God. we're gonna do it. Her show is midday ready. and eternity. It's okay. good they can't smell me on the screen. <laughs> I'm here at American Realness. To me, to me, to me. I, oh, yeah, bye. I'm at American Realness to do a show called Midday and Eternity, a dance piece. Well, actually, the parenthetical sub subtitle is The Time Piece. Midday and Eternity, The Time Piece. We use iPods during the whole piece. The whole piece is cued, synchronized, so that we are together in time, but we can also be very separate in space or in worlds or what we're doing physically. When we do this very set phrase, it's a phrase that we made on 60 beats per minute, and it's one word per second mostly, sometimes two or three seconds for a word. And these words all came from analyzing and sort of picking apart and dissecting things you know very well so that you can recombine them and create new monsters of stuff that's unfamiliar and new. And so then taking those apart and using those words to reassemble these descriptive terms. What we did is we made these steps that kind of have that word in them, but by hearing the word always in your ear each time you do it, you're no longer doing the step, but you're doing the quality. Like every time I hear numb or foam-like or adult, like whatever, these two different words that we use to describe the dance, I know what the step is, but getting reminded of that quality, I re-perform it in a different way each time. As I'm performing, I'm still working on the, the source or the interpretation. It doesn't feel like doing a written phrase. A lot of the time what happens is you do a written phrase and the, the body remembers it. So it becomes muscle memory and it becomes musicality and it becomes in the room with the people like a social agreement or something. And that's a lot of what is the intelligence of dance. Like you practice something so that it becomes habitual. Like practice is about habit forming. That happens, but in very short periods of time and then you dissipate and you don't see each other forever and then you come back and you have to perform this piece and you've lost that culture. You've lost those habits. You don't see each other every day anymore. So what is the piece now? And how can that piece also still be somehow a practice? I was also thinking about how the finished product can continue to be daily work. Mm -hmm. 